here with another video for you. I'm trying to cover up the microphone on the camera this time so I can actually upload this copy. This is a 1974 or 1975 RCA XL100 solid state console television. This is chassis number CTC68UE. And it's it's got a couple problems. A couple problems uh, that I've been trying to work on. Now it does turn on. And the CRT does check good, but once it warms up, you'll see what it is. There is plenty of red, a little bit of blue, and no green. Now I've actually already diagnosed this problem. What this comes down to is that the transistor which drives the green channel, which is luckily on a separate module, uh, has gone completely dead and no longer produces anything on green. Now there is plenty of blue and red. As you can see, we can get a nice purple or pinkish in this on the camera, but it's purple in person. If we turn it down, obviously it cuts off. So the CRT is good. I have checked to make sure that and the tuner is trashed on this. So AFT doesn't do anything at all. And I have a VCR hooked up. So you can see it, it does get the audio part of it. And you'll hear that in a second. However, there's no picture at all, and I did turn it off, but none of these channels produce a picture. All of the VHF channels, all of the VHF channels, 2 through uh, 13, produce less static than the UHF channels, and UHF is now totally dead. I mean, nothing gets through on UHF now. Now I have tried cleaning these tuners, and I've tried exercising them and cleaning them internally with a uh, deoxidant, but it's just, there's nothing, and you can see that the huge difference between UHF and VHF, and again, AFT does absolutely nothing, and I have cleaned all these controls, but we still don't get anything, so... We're gonna, I'm just gonna show you around a little bit and show you what's going on. You saw the blue flash there. So we'll see what's going on. I brought my tools out and we'll, we'll do some checks on the back of this thing and see if we can figure out a little bit more about the tuner. Now to get the back off of a set like this, you have to unplug it first. It's a safety cord. There, you can't leave it plugged in. There is a metal clip you push down and pull away and that goes flying off because it's got spring tension. And then it's just a bunch of screws. Doesn't matter what order they come off, they're self-tapping anyway, so. Yeah. It's nothing too difficult, nothing special. So I'll come back when the back is off of it. Now I'm not sure how good this picture will be without flash. I can try brightening it, but you won't see all that much without it. So. CRT over here, convergence board, yoke, chassis, more chassis, tuner, oh, and high voltage. Now there is a, a nice label that tells you what everything is individually, and wow, that just dropped the brightest and brightness trying to autofocus it. This here is some lovely X, radi X radiation precautions, and uh, so this is just the inside of the set, and there's not really much to... To show here so we're gonna plug our cord back in I removed the safety cord from mine because I wanted to mess around with this TV that's what I got it for now I came home with this on the 31st and when I got home the tuner sort of worked you could get some channels through VHF on the UHF tuner 
it's 100% dead after I cleaned it. So, yeah. We're going to turn it back on. Now, I, I have a test pattern generator that I had hooked up to it at the time. But, because I don't have anything on the tuner now, I can't really show that to you. So what we are going to do is we're going to put the DVD back on. Try to at least. Once the player starts working. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> oh, I normally would have uh, paused the video for that, but it was quick enough. You see we have audio now coming through, but no picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn all of the screens all the way down, and they already are, red, green, and blue, and we're going to turn the bias down because this CRT is practically brand new. So... We still have this kind of purplish color. So we're going <laughs> to pause the DVD. We're going to put this into service, which is or raster, which gives us just a blank screen. And we're going to turn red to the maximum. So this is max red and then down everything else. This is much easier with the mirror. Max green and down everything else. Max blue and nothing else. And blue is very, very, very bright, as you can see. So, yeah, there's a, something going on here. So if we, we can actually, I think we can... Yeah, you can have We cannot do this while we're plugged in. The dang ring doorbell going off. So we're gonna swap green and blue, just the wires here. Put the TV back on. And now we should have red and green. So if I pull into raster mode and put green all the way up now and everything else on the bottom now we have green so the CRT is good so you see what my issue is here this driver it's very hot this driver for blue it's very hot this one for green stone cold Plug it again. You really should use a power switch, but I don't care that much about this set. Put it back in. And we should have gone back to red and blue, which is what we have. And of course the audio is working perfectly fine. We have plenty of audio, and we have plenty of drive out of the audio too. <laughs> We have no tuner, absolutely no tuner. So if we can't get the tuner working, what I'm gonna do is pull this board, which drives the video, I believe, right? Number 14 on the thing. Video, M-A-L-001. So we're gonna pull this board and we're gonna get a good look at all the, all the transistors on that board. And we're gonna have, we're gonna put a scope probe on about as much of that as we can, and we're gonna see if we can't find some way to add a composite input to this thing. Ooh, man, these SCRs over here, these things get hot. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> Unplug that before you touch those. That was electrocution. <laughs> I think that's all for for now, folks. It's a good way to end it. See you around. <laughs>